I wish that I could say I was surprised when situations like this happen, when people who are handed IPs to translate disrespect them because it happens far too often, and a very infamous localizer who was behind the Big Brother controversy is now bragging yet again about inaccurately translating anime. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media, like Twitter or mine, so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So, I wanted to start with the Sankaku Complex article. It says a localizer brags about horribly westernized and inaccurate anime translations. I unfortunately have to talk about situations like this a lot because the entertainment that we love is being corrupted by these very people, but, you know, localizers do not have the best reputation in its situations like this, which explain why. So, it says Western localizers have once again been caught doing questionable translations for anime, as a certain familiar suspect has not only been inserting absurd Western phrases into their work, but has also been bragging about doing so and serving as the epitome of what is wrong with translation in the West to some. Now, of course, I talk about, you know, this individual, uh, on a... I'd say fairly regular basis, every couple of weeks or months I have to talk about something that they've done, and I will, you know, show you some of the examples of things that they've done in the past, but they're at it again. It says a helpful Twitter user shared a screenshot of the localizer's Twitter remarks describing their work as their finest work. This is, of course, Katrina translator. Do not interact with this person on social media. They probably uh, love the negative attention, but they said, I am unfortunately doing some of my finest localization work on the anime about the high school girl who is legitimately attracted to a corgi, which of course, when they talk about their finest localization work, they are talking about changing, uh, you know, the translations, not following them accurately and basically inserting whatever they feel like. It says, uh, this may surprise you, but I love the material. The translation is not for you, and you are not the intended audience. Was their response to someone saying, I'm honestly curious, so you are transforming the translation because you don't like the material given to you on an officially published project? Why not take another project instead? And of course, Katrina's response is, you know, pretty pathetic, saying, it's not for you, you're not the intended audience. How do you know that? This person went into it genuinely curious and not even being snarky or snobby. They simply just asked a couple of questions saying, like, if you don't like the material, why are you working with it? And you could have just simply said, I actually love the material, but clearly you do not love and respect it enough or else you would not be inserting your own phrases and terms into it that you feel are more appropriate because they aren't really translating it, they're transforming it. That is what they are doing, which of course is a big reason why these individuals now have such a bad reputation. Another user had also suggested the localizer is taking large liberties with their translations and cited various examples like this. I managed to get outside, but she had me on a leash so I couldn't do anything. That was the original work, and the translated is, sure, I had to pee outside, but what else was I gonna do? She had me on a leash. One of the translations also added the word bimbo out of nowhere, even though it wasn't in the original, so it just seems like they are making a lot of changes, but I've talked about this individual several times on the channel. A questionable translator selected as the Persona Xbox and PC port localization coordinator. Of course, the Atlas West Twitter account announced the Persona 5 Royal, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 3 Portable are being ported to Xbox consoles and PC. This was back in June of 2022, but they announced that they are the localization coordinator for the releases, and people were pretty upset and pretty pissed off with the fact that they decided to choose someone with such a bad reputation. I mean, they were getting absolutely roasted on Twitter over this. 
people were saying things like, surprised I'm not blocked yet. If you want to learn Japanese and bypass these woke localizers, join my Discord. We encourage each other, give advice, and share language learning resources. Thank you for convincing me to not buy these ports slash re-releases. You saved me money. Another reason why I will never get an Xbox or this game on PC. Going by what I've heard, Persona localization is doomed, and, well, the announcement was fun while it lasted. Don't throw out your old copies. I was excited until I saw this. Pirate this game. Don't be surprised if this translation fucking sucks and misses the point of characters. This is the person that changed a gay cross-dressing relationship to a trans one. That's Erasure. And... I have talked about this before, this was back in April, infamous localizer brags about inaccurate translation, so this isn't even the first time that they have bragged about their poor work. It says a Twitter user has discovered a past tweet from a so-called anime localizer bragging about being able to provide inaccurate translations for shows, which of course... They also were behind the Big Brother controversy, and they did change courses on that, but probably because the company was like, listen, you have to change this. We're not willing to, you know, face boycotts over this one change that you felt like making. Uh, localization is really an excuse for these translators to use Japanese media as a vessel for their poor writing skills. They have zero respect for creativity and know that ruining other people's creations is the only way anyone we reads their drivel. And Katrina had posted, they let me do this in Hori Mia without rioting. Let's go get ourselves burgerfied after school. What do you think? A lot of their work is just very cringe. And I hate using the term cringe, but a lot of the changes that they make, like Big Brother, it's just very pointless. It feels very childish. I don't know if that's what they're going for with a lot of their, you know, translations and changes, but that's the way that their work comes across to me. I have zero respect for this individual, but as you can see, they have decided to yet again brag about the poor work that they do, which is just very disappointing. There are really great localizers and very passionate individuals out there, but People like this give them all a bad reputation, which is just very depressing. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it and found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.